We got meat. <laughs> there, we gotta see what it looks like down there. Mm. Oh, that's him. Happening, everyone. We're off shore today, and we're starting off the day at the grocery store. We got Nick, we got Brad, we got Mark, and we got about 280 feet left until we hopefully have a little bit of reassurance in the cooler. We're deep dropping right now. Open for a grouper. It stalled out the reel a little bit. Not the most exciting part of fishing, so I don't really do too much uh, deep drop videos. But we're gonna try to get something in the cooler, and then we'll be looking to do some really fun fishing here in a little while. Oh, it's the, it's still bouncing. He's on there. Look at that reel getting stalled out. Could be a good one. Could be a good one. About 40 feet left. Yeah, I got color. It's not big. Looks like a tile. It is a tile fish. Not little, but not big. That's it. That'll work, that'll work. A tile fish with a remora on it. I have never seen that. Big old head on that tile fish. I'm scared to pick up this thing. I think we might have had more fish in the Is it a baby little remora or is it something different? I mean, it, it's definitely in the remora family, whether it's a different kind, I don't know. You got a long swim down, buddy. Been inshore. Got a couple fish on the electric. Now we're doing some bottom fishing. Oh, he's digging. We don't want sharks. Get him up. Digging like a red. It's a big red snapper. Sharks chasing them or no, those are bubbles coming up. That's a good one, Mark. Not what we're looking for, but that's a big one. Oh yeah, you keep that. Hold that thing up. That is a hoss. Get him over the boat. Get him over the boat. Oh man, he just had a blowout at you. Come on, get him over the boat, Mark. All right, I just hit bottom. I gotta get mine in. That's a good trigger fish, though. Keep this? Yeah, you keep them. We got some. No, come on. He's spiraling pretty big. Looks like a grouper. Big grouper. Oh, yeah. Maybe? Yeah. We Joey. got us our gaggle tooth. All right, Joey. He's not giant, but hey. That is a nice keeper gag. Not a big one, but that gag is going to be delicious. I'm pretty pumped on it. We're gonna take him up to the box. Got one gag. Let's see if there's more. Should be another one home down there, you would think. Come on. What is inside that thing? ate a snake maybe an eel probably more likely an eel out here oh i'm so tired i can't even get the hook 20 pound fish plus right there 
and we're missing the big part or the tail part. But that's Keepa! We got meat. <laughs> oh, that one was an absolute heartbreaker. I'm taking a break. Spot sh showing to have some nice groupers. I think I had another grouper, the first fish of the day that I had here, uh, and it pulled the hook. But the sharks are definitely here. Nick's on the rod now. We're gonna see if he can get one. Exclusive interview. What do you have to say to the sharks down there, Nick? I'm not talking to you right now. Come on, just tell me. No, hold on, hold on. I'm getting thumb. You getting nibbled? Yeah. The wiggler's getting the nibble. Is he on it? Let him chew, Nick. Let him chew. Pull him, Johnny. He's brown. He's brown. Scamp. Scamper! He's too small though. No, he's not. That's a nice size. Is it? How big do you guys see over here? Scamper doodle. Hold him up for the camera, Nick. Remember. Hold him up like you know how to hold a fish. <laughs> you don't like your videos, Johnny? So we got gags in the cooler, well one and a half gags, and Nick just got thumped by the scamp. Probably one of the best tasting groupers out there. What'd you get him Bite my man? finger, dude. What, do I got it? I'm on, so pricked it. <laughs> hold, hold that scamp up. What'd you get him on? Uh -huh. There we go, scamp. Pretty tasty fish. What do you got, a little grouper? You got a scorpion fish? Oh my god, that's so cool. What the hell? You got a scorpion fish. Get that thing away from me. I think it's poisonous. Is that part of that thing? That is a scorpion fish, and Nick is gonna give it a nice little kiss. It's supposed to lay down there and just look like a rock. It's got all these little growths and stuff on it to blend in, and then just gets the baits that comes by, and they are venomous. Oh, I got poked! How bad are they? I really got poked. Did you? Yeah. This video is now, because I was trying to film, look at that little teeny cut right there. We're gonna find out how bad a scorpion fish sting is. I can tell you it hurts more than just getting poked by a hook. That thing, you can deal with that. My fucking finger's on fire. Is it? Yeah. Really pretty. Yeah. I am so pissed and feel so dumb for just doing that because I was trying to film it. Oh, I almost got two. That would have been. Oh. <laughs> Nick's, oh. Nick's gonna get poked. Okay, scorpion fish is gone. I have now been stuck by a scorpion fish. Very minor, but look at that little cut right there. It's throbbing. It's like a bee sting. Nothing crazy right now. But when my finger falls off, we'll uh, keep you updated. But we have to stick around because we got something cool coming up. I think we're gonna go get in the water and see what we got going on down there. Right, we came in shallower. And you know what theory we're using? Chum them till they're dumb. We're looking for mangroves now. We got some nice groupers in the box. We got tilefish, a couple other things. But we're chumming and I'm using my Tsunami Salt X 6000. We're going to see if we can find some mangroves on this spot. I dialed down the tackle size. got 40 pound uh, fluorocarbon leader, 20 pound braid, letting that bait just kind of drift down there. And we're looking for mangroves. Come on, be the right kind. All right, this could be the mangrove. I got a mangrove and it's a nice one. Do you have hurricane windows? Yes. There we go. Like that, that is a nice mangrove. So if it breaks, There he is. 
That's the guy. Think he's gotten some chum in him? Woo! There's our chum coming out. Let's reuse it. So you catch a big old mangrove. Look at the size of that thing. That's what we got there. Big old mangroves on the 6,000. There you go. You got them beat off the bottom, I think. I just got oh, put shark, into the reef. Sharks. You're good. Swing them over here. Got it. Open your bail. There you go. Three mangroves pretty quickly. Here, slide over me. You got that? The mangrove stuff worked out pretty well. But now it's time to go down there. We got to see what it looks like down there. We're still chumming. Got to keep them around, keep them interested. And we lost a couple nice ones too. So just saw a big king, saw some mangroves or hooked some mangroves, caught some mangroves. Let's go hop in the water. Nick didn't even wait for me. I just got my gloves on. Do I do reel this up? Yeah, just keep reeling it in. His fish is right there. So I'm not really too worried about him. Is that a mangrove? Hell yeah, Nick! Woo! Is it, just let him throw it all the way up. I got a full strike on me. Hop on in, Johnny. Way to go. Biggest mangrove of the day right there. Took three seconds with a spear. How'd it feel? Good, really good. When's the last time you shot a fish? It's been a while. Getting in the game now. Ah, uh, yeah. So now it's time for my absolute favorite part of the day. I love all kinds of fishing, but I really, really love diving and spear fishing, especially after a long day out on the water. To be able to get in there, have some really blue water, and to know there are some giant snapper down there made it that much better. So we let the chum sink down and keep in mind, Nick just shot a mangrove and these mangroves came right back up. You can usually shoot a couple of them before they really start to disappear. Uh, and that's what I was going to go try to do. Now, when you're diving on these mangroves, you got to move really, really slow and almost just drift down towards me. If you're kicking real hard and going at them real fast with a gun fully extended, a lot of times they're going to spook before you get anywhere near taking a shot. So I'm going really slow and I had my eyes on a giant. That mangrove I'm trying to get a shot on had to be a 12 or 13 pound fish. It was just huge. And I wasn't the only predator down there. You'll see here right now, something was sneaking up on me to kind of check me out and I had no idea. Nick was watching my back from the surface. And then uh, this bull shark came in to kind of check me out, see what was going on. But it was pretty calm and relaxed. The mangroves didn't give me the shot I was hoping for, and I didn't want to take a long shot and risk spooking them. But on my way up from my dive, I saw a really fired up kingfish, and I love shooting kingfish. I landed a really nice holding shot just behind the gills. I knew I could put some serious heat on him, but still kingfish have a really, really soft meat. So you got to be careful not to pull too hard. Just headshot him when you get a chance. So I asked Nick to put a second shot in there, not because I couldn't land the fish without it, but it would just make it faster, easier, safer, and we could get it back to the boat that much quicker. He landed a really solid shot in the fish. I ripped him right in, and we were able to secure a nice 20, 15 pound kingfish for the boat. Right here, something you see me practice time and time again. I usually use my spear or sometimes my dive knife to brain the fish. Uh, it kills the fish. It's a more humane way of harvesting the fish. And it's also a lot safer for everyone in the boat. There's that king we were watching. He wouldn't hit the flat line, so we went in there and got him. Dude, that bull shark snuck up on me. No, it was really calm. That's why I didn't make any noise. Mm. I've been keeping them going. Mm. It's getting time to leave, and I just wanted to make one more drop down. 
I floated around a little while and I didn't see the mangroves, but I knew they were down there. I knew they were sitting just out of sight because that's what they do a lot of time. The more you shoot them, the more activity you have in the water, you usually start pushing them closer to the bottom. So I made another real slow drop down and these are, I call them blind drops. I know where the chum is, but I don't see the fish. So I'm kind of just sinking slowly. And then I could start to make out some fish. The first fish I saw, I thought it was a mangrove, but as I got closer, I could see it was a trigger fish. Then I saw the mangroves and I could barely see them. In this case, I think the GoPro makes it look clearer than it actually was. I half guessed on that shot. I led the fish a little bit and I hit him. I knew there was a shark around, so I couldn't let him run too far. I had to take the chance of pulling hard and risking pulling the spear out. And I had no idea where I hit this fish. So as I'm pulling him up, I can see I hit him towards the back. And I know Nick's at the surface to have my back and uh, help me out. The shark came up on him, but again, the shark wasn't being super aggressive. So I kind of tried to play the fish out. And it's a solid mangrove. So even though it's a, a snapper, I wanted Nick to go down there and put a second shot in him. Because there's nothing I hate more than shooting a fish and losing it because you know the fish is probably going to end up dying and it's just a wasted fish or shark bait basically so nick did just what i wanted to do he got a really solid shot we ripped it up and you'll see how close i was i to could hardly the fish. see I anything probably down there. would not have landed this fish without him putting the shot in it oh, oh. i could hardly see the shark i'm pretty sure i saw a big like thing on There are a whole lot of mangroves. Nick put that second shot in to help me out. We made the right call. Hopping in. Getting some nice fish. Big old king. Some solid mangroves. Fur doggy got to get in on the action. Woo! All right. Getting ready to cruise in. We'll show you all the fish once we get in. But we got a quick lesson for you. I get people all the time that I'm correcting when they tell me that fish right there is called a moonfish because it's not. The top one is a moonfish. Moonfish, look down. Some of our secret grouper baits, but these guys did not make it. We made the run in and we have a cooler full of fish here. We got big tile fish. There's another tile fish in there. That's the smaller, the two gags. Nice scamp. A bunch of big mangroves. I don't know how many big mangroves we got. And then that giant gag that got the tail bit off. Kingfish is down there. Triggerfish is down there. Lots of good fish in there. We're back at the fillet table with this big old chunky grouper that got sharked. But we're gonna see how much just this half weighs. Rinse my hands off real quick. Stinks that it got sharked, but still a ton of good meat there. All right. 25 pounds, so probably around a 30 to 32 pound fish, I'm guessing. If we got them whole, but let's go ahead and cut this thing up. So we got the whole grouper here, it's all cleaned up. We got that bag stuffed full, got some nice chunks in that bag, and you'll see I cut the cheeks out. Cheeks come out right there, we got another one over here. But the cheek meat, I go ahead and start it with a knife, but I mean, you can peel this right off the skin. And that is a delicious little diblet right there. That's gonna go in my bag. I'm taking these, the rest of the guys don't need to know about it. But these cheek meat, a lot of people don't know you can get a snook, you can get a pretty much any big fish. 
super super good the rest of this carcass is going to go to a friend of mine that's going to make a stock out of it i think he cuts out the collar and he'll cook that so lots of good meat here nothing going to waste and the next stop is the kitchen one of these days duncan will hook it up so we're in the kitchen now which means it's cooking time we're not in my kitchen we're at chris and Kay's house and they're gonna have some people over tonight and we're doing fish sandwiches more specifically blackened grouper sandwiches that's what we got right here that's that gag grouper we went ahead and cut it in half to make it a little thinner i mean you can still see how thick that chunk is that's like perfect sandwich size right there so all we've done is prep that prepped a little bit over here we got our uh, rolls from Publix, the Publix bakery uh tomato onion lettuce got some sauces in the fridge we might throw on there but most importantly chef paul prudon's blackened redfish magic seasoning use whatever you like it's super good stuff got some of that in a bowl and then uh, we'll be using butter or oil, I'm not sure actually. Uh, but one thing I wanted to go over real quick, people ask me why do we shoot kingfish? Why do we shoot amberjack or keep them when we catch them hook and line? You can definitely eat them. They're great on the grill. I don't suggest freezing them and eating them later, eat them right away. But what I like doing is having friends in really high places that can make bombing fish dip like that right there. This is the kingfish you just saw me shoot. I gave it to Chris. A couple days ago, he made a super good fish dip. Uh, let me know if you want to hear more about that in a future video. But that is the kingfish. Kind of like a little appetizer for tonight. I might even put it on a sandwich. That'd be good. Grouper, kingfish, smoke dip, whatever. But we got the grill heating up outside. We're going to go ahead out there and get this sandwich going. We're outside with Chris and Kay's green egg. We got our black and red fish seasoning right there. And we are going to get a whole lot of this on here because you can't really have too much. For those of you who know about this, you're going to say, yeah, that stuff's awesome. For those of you who don't know, it's not very spicy. Super good. We're getting a lot on there. And then we're coming over here with it. That is as simple as it gets right there. That is looking good. It's mighty fine. Chris did a Spanish mackerel smoking on here. This is where he smoked the kingfish also from that dip I showed you. But grouper sandwich, I think that's like a summertime. That's like the summertime sandwich of Florida. It has to be. Super easy to do. This thing, fish cooks fast. It's really hot. So we're probably only going to do maybe like two or three, maybe three or four minutes on each side. And then it's still a little thick. So we'll probably stick it up on the sides and maybe kind of get a little bit of a sear on each side as well because we got the... Uh, redfish magic on all the sides it's flippy time flippy time flippy time Let's get this going right here for you <laughs> oh yeah look at that blackening on there nice and crispy looking so yeah we're gonna let that sit like that for a little bit and then prop it up on the sides to kind of cook that seasoning but it is looking good so you see all that smoke and that black on the top? That's the seasoning. You're just basically burning this blackening seasoning. It's not the fish itself burning. So that looks good. That's not burnt. That's good stuff. I know someone's going to say it's burnt. I'm not an expert chef or anything. You got to go to Victor for that. But I think it looks good. We're going to go ahead and uh, get this up on its edges now. That bottom side's looking good, and now we're just gonna kind of roll it around on each edge to get it cooked all the way through. There we go. That is looking good. It's a lot bigger once you get it on the sandwich. Now that is a healthy looking blackened fish sandwich. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. And then we're gonna go ahead and try this thing, but I already know it is going to be super, super good. That is a super, super good looking sandwich. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ow! That is so good. Super, super good. We're just kicking off the offshore season. It's been so rough. It's, it's even windy today, but we should be getting into the summer pattern soon where we'll have lots of diving, lots of offshore, lots of stuff on the beach. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and stick around because we got another video coming out in just a couple days. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. 
Later.